What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean, and today I'm going to be upgrading the HP Omen. Now this is the 16 inch, but it's probably the same for the other Omens. We're going to put in a 2TB NVMe SSD. This has one open slot that's a Gen 3, so I'm putting in an ADATA XPG SX8200 Pro. It's a pretty decent Gen 3 SSD. All you will really need for this is a little electronics tool kit. I'll put a link to one in the description. The Omen is really straightforward to open up. There's just, I think, eight screws on the bottom. You want to pay attention the front screws go in at a 45 degree angle, and the ones along the back are just straight up and down. After that, just pry around the edge carefully and uh, lift it up, and that's really all there is to it. Once you're inside, just take out the screw that's in the hole for the standoff, and then don't remove the thermal pad. Just leave that on there and then clip your new SSD into the slot. Gently lower it down and then just replace the screw that you took out of the standoff. While you have this open, you could also upgrade the memory if you needed more than 16 gigabytes. This is good RAM. It's single rank, CAS latency of 15 and 3200 megahertz. So if you don't need more RAM, I wouldn't worry about upgrading this, but you can if you want to. This SSD has a little heat sink and it'll fit in there with the back cover on. If you have a bigger heat sink that won't fit or if you don't have a heat sink at all, it's not a big deal. After that, you just want to gently clip the back cover back on. Be careful, you don't want to break off any of those little tabs. Just go slow and make sure that you get them all clipped in. And then we'll just uh, basically do the reverse of putting the screws back in and then you're done. When you boot back into Windows, don't worry if the drive doesn't show up. I would recommend doing a full shutdown and restart a couple of times and then open up the app called Disk Management. And in there, you're going to need to initialize the new disk. It'll prompt you to do that. And then just right click on it and create a new simple volume. Follow the on-screen prompt. You can set a different size for the partition if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it if you're just using this for storage. You can go ahead and give the drive a custom name if you want to. Then just hit next. And after that, you should be good to go. Once you go back into Windows Explorer, you'll be able to see the second drive showing up as your storage drive. And after that, you're ready to install games to it or whatever you want. Now we're back in action and we have the one terabyte Gen 4 drive that we have the OS on. And now we have a two terabyte Gen 3 NVMe drive that we can load all types of games onto without worrying about filling up our boot drive. I hope this video was helpful. It's really a straightforward upgrade, so I hopefully shouldn't give you too many problems. If you're planning on upgrading your Omen, drop a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you in the next video.